My husband is 41 years old and has been recently told of a serious stomach condition, which will mean major surgery and uncertainty of the outcome. We have a young family. What should be my mindset and how do I behave in the best manner? Jazakallah Ahad. May Allah uh, give him shifa. Uh, the mindset should be, you see, that this world is not for enjoyment, is not for ever living, that Allah has guaranteed uh, ever living or, or have guaranteed families that they all will be living uh, up to a certain age and then they will. There is nothing like this. The reason being that here you are being tested. The ever living place and where there is guarantee to ever live and hold the family with, with everyone, with your husband, with your children is called Jannah. Here you have come un into this earthly life. If you think you have your date of birth is different, your son's date of birth is different, your husband's date of birth is different. They came at different times, they will go at different times. Before marriage, you spent life, there were challenges, different challenges. Your husband would go through different challenges uh, when he was uh, in, uh, growing up. So this life Allah tests people, challenges come and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Wala nablu wanna kum. you will definitely, surely, twice it is been, definitely, surely, you will be tested through sometimes some kind of fear, some kind of similar khawf, while Jews sometimes out of poverty, um, that we don't have enough to live on or struggling financially. Uh, sometimes you have earned, uh, you may say, and uh, accumulated some wealth, made some bank balance, or anything, and, and then loss happens, you lose money. Well, Anfus, not only in financial terms, Allah said, well, Anfus means life, you might be tested, some life might be taken away. It can be your parents, it can be your brothers, it can be your relatives, it can be your spouse. And the fruits uh, which a person, samarat means fruits. So, for example, that physically it can mean you have fruit gardens and the fruit lose because of storm or whatever. Or it can also mean the things you have earned and now actually it is like fruit of your, you must say, work and effort and all saving and that have gone. And the last of all said, Wabashir is Sabirin. Now he said, good news is for the people of Sabr. What does Sabr mean? That you hope in the mercy of Allah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has better outcome and better reward uh, for this in dunya and akhirah. And you face that challenge and also knowing that uh, having this mindset that Rasulullah mentioned that anything which disturbs or as fatigue, illness, uh, anything like this, uh, for a believer, that's an expiation of sins. Many sins get forgiven, uh, your status gets raised because actually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made for us the actual life, the life of hereafter. As Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said la aisha illa aisha al akhira uh, the real life is the life of hereafter here is a testing phase the real life has not begun uh, yet actually so inshallah you do sabr sabr mean doesn't mean you don't, don't cry don't be upset it means you hope in the reward of the uh, allah azza wa jal and you do not forget your purpose uh, of life and you wait and deal uh, with the challenge by putting your trust and hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that in dunya and akhirah there is betterment if we actually have the right uh, reaction. And be good to each other and also know that uh, very clearly that people who don't have any serious illness, there is no guarantee they are going to live as well. They might die even before. So this is part of and parcel of test and it's not that actually death only comes to ill people so sometimes there are many people who are ill and they live very long and people who are healthy and they die very soon 
So it's nothing to do with the life and death, but it's a test. And everyone actually is tested in different ways. We sometimes forget, and these things actually bring us back to our factory resetting that we, because we get drifted away and sometimes actually tend to think, although we do not believe, but tend to think uh, superficially, yeah, yeah, this life is enjoyment and uh, we uh, will have always have peace and everyone will be healthy, everyone will be living, but this is not the reality and uh, these things that you remind us.